Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I'm back today with um, a few cards I wanted to share with you and also we're going to do a project as well. So you may remember a few days ago I shared with you some new design team stuff I got um, which was like little cute little reindeers and a little, um, where is he, this little dude here which was this gorgeous little raccoon and loads of people have um, said they love it and ordered one. It is adorable so I've mainly been using him. Um, so I wanted to share some cute Christmas cards I've been making because um, it's really time I started and they're all shakers and this one was using the cute little deers that I got sent. So that is that one that I made and he's the little raccoon and I just think it's so cute and I um, embossed some like foil card matte silver foil which I thought looked really nice there were just some poncetta dies that I've already got and um, that's a die that I've had for ages and I've just actually started using it and it's really pretty so that was that one I made and then here he is again this time I just put some really small little shakers in but it's just so cute Poncetta again which I cut out in like a glittery um, white card the same with the sentiment and there's just some little shimmery um, snowflakes again I used um, I em embossed some like it's like a champagne kind of colour I think um, a matte one I believe it's tonic I, I bought like a tonic pad with all different colours in and it's really nice so that was that one that I made and then this one I've also been decorating the envelopes with the leftover paper and this one is the cute little Bambi but you can't really see it very well I maybe should have chose better shakers for it but never mind so I just tied a little twine bow and um, again I've used the same die and then inside I put some of the paper um, and I also cut that out of the paper and then I put some left on the envelope so we'll do that as well because I just thought it's a way to use them little pieces up because you very rarely use them um, and like I say I just fussy cut that out so really pleased with these little cards so we're going to make one but I thought we could do like an easel card so I've got all of the little pieces cut out that I need and this time I've got some heat resistant acetate because I'm going to heat emboss on, on the acetate this is it here I get it from sticks too and it's really good so I've cut that out so what I've done is I just took a 6x6 card and I scored it on the line and then I just so you would have your 6x6 card then I just folded that in half and then I've used the um, used another card and that's obviously going to go on there to make our easel and I've cut some more paper I've cut a bit for the bottom and this one will go onto the card like that and then for the shaker this die here um, where is it it's another KS craft one it's this one and I've just cut the largest one out and I've just took a plain circle and I've just cut the middles out of them and I've cut one two three four five because we're not going to use foam tape we're just going to build it up and this will give us the the depth like the thickness we need for our shaker 
and then the next size down die I've took that to cut out this blue piece which is what will go on there and that's what I'm gonna stick the raccoon on to because we're gonna do him as well so I've got all them so we'll, we'll do the raccoon first so and plus I can show you how to put it together as well because you do have to cut little pieces of it <clears throat> um, if I take this bit we can kind of use this as a reference so the little head you will need to cut the head out twice one in white and one in grey and then on the grey one you'll just cut the bottom face away which it's really easy to do because it's all marked because that will then go on there okay so we're going to start gluing them together so I'm just going to put some glue just on there it's probably way too much Okay, so we'll glue him over there this is how I put it together anyway and it, it works for me so and then you will need to cut another face out in black and what you're gonna do is you're gonna you'll see that there's two eye shapes when you've cut it out in black you're gonna have to cut them out because we need them to then glue onto there to make the two eyes so I've already cut them out of a black black piece of card so cut three heads out a white a grey and a black and then when you cut the black head out save the nose the little black nose and then instead of fiddling on with little white pieces for the eye I've just got a white gel pen and all I do is I just draw the little eyes on with the gel pen I mean if you haven't got a white gel pen you can just cut out two tiny little you do get the little holes for the eyes but ugh, too small and fiddly for me so and then save the two ears from the black head as well when you cut that out now the hat you need to cut two you need to cut a white one and a red one so with the white one I've chopped the bottom off and I've chopped the little top pom-pom off which I should have somewhere there it is and then we're obviously going to glue them onto the hat, onto the red hat. So that's his little hat done. And then we'll just glue that on to his little head. It's adorable. Okay, so apart from his nose and ears, that's that done. Obviously, we need we need to glue it onto here to be able to put them pieces on. So the body, you need to cut two, one in grey and one in white. The white one, just save the little tummy from it. And then I'm just going to put a bit of glue along here. And we'll glue the little head on. And then again, this piece, but we need, we'll do that when we've got that stuck down. 
um, the tail you need to cut a black and a grey and then you basically out of the the grey one or the black one whichever you choose you're going to have to cut out the little sections so that it looks like that and then if we just put a bit of glue on the underneath we can glue the tail onto there okay and then I've got his little present and the little bow and then the two little arms so going to glue him on and the tail sticks over a bit but it doesn't matter I can I can trim that off later so I'm just going to glue this straight down Alright, so I can glue the little tummy on. And then the two little arms. kind of glue them at the side because he's going to be holding the little present and then glue the little nose and the ears so just put a bit of glue in there and a bit in there where the ears will be I'll just glue the nose So cute. And then the little present. Just a bit of glue on there. I just stick that straight down the middle. All right, so there is the adorable little raccoon. <laughs> Love that, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll get our shaker made. So I need to take um, one of the pieces and this is the bit that will be on the front and then the acetate will get glued to there but obviously I need to do my heat embossing so I know that I'm going to have that there and I was going to just put Merry Christmas Mm, but I don't know because it's quite big. I might have to change it for something a bit smaller. Yeah, 
think we'll just put joy and love on. Anywhere really, it doesn't really matter. So I think I'm just gonna just get that. Um, have a look. So I've got some embossing ink, and I've got some red embossing powder, and I'm just gonna wipe this down with an embossing buddy the acetate because it will obviously have sticky marks on it I'm going to ink up this little sentiment which is joy and love And then obviously you have to be careful because it's it's like slidey so I'm just gonna kind of go for it there and just press down and I think I've moved it but hopefully I haven't oh no that's okay And if there's any little bits we'll just brush them off so I will heat set that and I will be back when it's done okay so I've heat embossed that and then I have just glued it onto the back side of this now I've started gluing these on top of each other I think I've glued three and um, so the one with the acetate will go on the top so I think we'll glue this one on now So that's the frame done and then this will go over here with the shakers in so I've made a little sequin mix here and I'm not going to put loads in because I still want to be able to see the little raccoon going to glue over there so I'm just going to put just glue quite close to the there we go how adorable so that's the little shaker done looks really cute I like that so and put the card together so just move that out away for now so I am gonna stick this on to here going to go on the bottom of the card ok 
okay so I want a little shaker just in the middle yep he's stuck there and then I cut out some little poinsettias here which I thought would be kind of nice to make the little stopper like to stop the card from moving like falling down I suppose so I've got some glue dots somewhere yeah that will stop that coming down and then you can just lift the little petals back up because they've obviously gone a bit flat with me having to uh, stick them down so that is the adorable little easel absolutely love this little raccoon it is so cute <laughs> adorable yeah love that so that is that and then for the envelope the scraps from the paper are just basically measured the width and then I just basically cut it along with me with me trimmer and then on the back I just put this on the paper and I just drew around it with a pencil and then I just cut it out and if it isn't perfect you can always trim it which we might have to do so I'm just gonna glue this onto the back of here make sure it's stuck down and then get some scissors and if there's any any scissors anywhere actually any little bits sticking out we can just trim them off and that's just a good way to actually use up all your paper pad instead of just having bits left which I think that looks really really nice so you've got like your, your lovely little card with your matching envelope and that is adorable so I hope you've enjoyed it um, just to give you some ideas, inspiration I've really enjoyed making these because that little raccoon is just adorable so I'll put all the links of what products I can in the description box um, of the video uh, so thanks for watching take care and bye for now